moving on. Hey, hey, hey. Now look at this. I'm pulling up here to the Blue Beacon. And there is no one in line at the Blue Beacon. I mean, no one in line. What is going on here? Wow. This is crazy. It's like, okay, which one do we go for? I guess we'll shoot for this one. You gotta love it, no line, no weight, y'all. Now this is how you get your truck washed. No line, no weight. Another tanker coming up there behind me. He get off the interstate right there behind me, so hey, it's all cool. How's it going? Do y'all have undercarriage here? Uh, we don't, man, unfortunately. Okay, man. Sorry about that, man. Who <laughs> could be coming from up north? Yeah, <laughs> I know, man. I get that a lot, man. Um, Citrus shine, I guess, because okay. aluminum. Yeah. Um, engine wash. Alright. I ain't worried about Rain X. Nope. Alright. No brightener, right? No, 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 right. Okay. Gotcha. Alright. Thank you. Alright. No, it's the rain expert, sir. Yeah. All right. So we're doing no brighter wash on the truck. We're going to shine the and tanks and engine wash, correct? All right. Before we put the hood down, I'm going to check the motor to flash that. Did you want to check it with me? All right, man. My name's Javier. I'm just going to be in charge of your wash. If you have any questions about the wash, let me know. Man.
it was. I think she said 78 even. But I didn't do the citrus shine. I'm not worried about that. We're not worried about some of the other muck. So we're just trying to get it washed. We're trying to get a level of that daggone salt and all that stuff from the snow and all that mess off of it. But yeah, we're going to get her somewhat halfway clean. Better than what it was anyway. But yeah, this is the Blue Beacon just south in between Wildwood and Tampa, y'all. Right here at the Flying J. So I can see the Flying J right there. And it was pretty cool. I mean, as I pulled up, there was a truck here, a truck here. Both bays were empty. We had a tanker pull up in here. And of course, had me pull up in over here. So, hey, that's pretty cool. We are getting this bad boy washed. y'all can see they scrubbing the stacks that's kind of cool doing a little bit of brushing back there in the back having a motor wash done because that oil leaks so I figure I'll go ahead and get the oil checked out I'll see how that goes Where's the leak you were talking about, man? Yeah, it was usually on about half of the oil pan and all that there, but yeah, that looks good there. Good. Let's check the other side, y'all. Yeah, that looks good. That's better. That's better. All right, y'all. So we're here. Uh oh, the guy showed him where he missed a section of the hood. So <laughs> he got him. He said, "Look, you missed a section up here with the brush." The roads are wet up here, which kind of sucks. When I got off the exit, the off ramp was wet and all. So I'm hoping. So the rest of the stuff is dry. Rain did come through here earlier. So I'm hoping there ain't gonna be too much spray kicking up on the truck tonight. Now like granted, it is calling for like 40% chance of thunderstorms tomorrow down there in Miami. I really hope not. I really hope I can get down there, at least get one day, you know, on a freaking wash job on the truck with ride with a clean truck. Have it somewhat shiny for a day at least. At least let me roll in down there in Miami with a clean truck. At least let me roll in there with a clean truck. I mean, you know, come on. Hook a brother up. Give me some cleanness here for one time. But, you know, it is what it is, y'all. <laughs> this is trucking. This is trucking. This is, what, this is what we do. We spend money to make money. And there's that blue beacon, y'all. Got to come here and get that, get, you got to get that wash on. Got to get that wash on. Yeah, he's scrubbing around the mirrors and all that. That's good and cool. Do, 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 do. Hopefully they get the back back center panel. I know the back center panel was pretty toast and the mud flap hangers, they were pretty freaking wet or muddy and all that. So hopefully they get all them pretty good. I've got to replace my passenger side fog light is out. I got to find out if it's a light bulb or if it's a wiring or something, but it's not working. So I'm one of them drivers. I will not run. If one of them's out, I'll leave them turned off. I'm not going to drive around with one fog light on or auxiliary driving light, whatever you want to call them. I'm not going to drive around with only one of them working. So I leave them off until I can get them replaced. Cause it just looks tacky to have you know one working and one not so you know that's, i'm kind of you know anal that way um i'm not as ocd as my brother but i do have i do have my quirks on certain things and that's one of them but one like that I, I i can't drive like that so they're turned off for right now oh there's a pretty 
Coronado right there with some blue lights on them. Pulling a reefer unit. Oh, of course he's gonna stop back there behind it where I can't see. That friggin' sucks. Got you another customer here come rolling on in. Trying to jump around. Really wanted to see the lights he had on that Coronado. He's got the rims that are kind of like with the slanted. Almost kind of like the saw blades. That's just kind of cool. I mean, it's, it's almost like saw blades on there. Which I think it's kind of cool. There we go. See a little better. There's some blue lights coming through. He's got lights all on his bumper, just like I've got all up in mine. We're gonna get some views of this, y'all. He's got them down there in the running boards. I've got them in the running boards. He's got them all in his bumpers. Oh, cool, he's got his wigwags. His blinker's actually more or less wigwag. When he had his flashers on back in it. Now that's kind of freaking cool. But yeah, y'all. This is the blue beaky, yep. We got that freight liner. He pulled up behind me because he knows it's going to be quicker to wash a bobtail than it is to wash a truck and a tanker. So, of course, he whipped up behind mine first. He knows I'll be out of here quicker. So, yep. They've already checked the other guy in. Look, so they will be calling me to jump up in there any minute now, y'all. As y'all can see, on the truck, he's already back at the door. He is ready to go. He's like, come on now. Let's get me in. I need a wash. I need to get my wash on. All right, everybody. I'll be getting in the truck here in just a second. And we hope everybody has y'all a good, safe day. We hope y'all are staying safe, staying blessed. Hope y'all enjoyed this little short video of the Blue Beacon truck wash. I'm going to get out once I pull forward and we'll take a little video of it. And show y'all that. We'll add that to the final clip. Even if it's wrong